What's up boys, Shane here, and today I have some Battlefield Hardline gameplay because I'm going to be talking about the Battlefield 5, Battlefield 5 sales and how Battlefield Hardline actually outsold Battlefield 5, which is crazy. Uh, but if you guys are new here, don't forget to drop a like down below, a subscribe if you are new here, but let's just get right into the video. So for the first week of retail sales, uh, the numbers for Battlefield 5 came out and BG Charts actually put up an article showing all the previous Battlefield sales in the first week of release. So compared to every other Battlefield in recent memory, Battlefield 5 has sold pretty poorly. Hardline was even a new IP and a new sort of franchise and spinoff in the Battlefield series, and it even outsold Battlefield 5, which is supposed to be a mainline Battlefield game, and a sequel to Battlefield 1, which sold very well at 2.8 million copies, as you can see on the screen. Um, Battlefield Hardline sold 1.51 million copies, and Battlefield 5 only sold 1.4 million. Now these do exclude digital sales, um, however it is important to note that even Battlefield 1 which excluded digital sales there and we know a lot of people bought Battlefield 1 digitally as it was only two years ago and a lot of people bought their games digitally in 2016 as well had more than double the retail sales of Battlefield 5. Now a lot of gamers still buy their gifts in physical copies and it is just crazy that even even if you do exclude the fact of online sales, the fact that Hardline outsold Battlefield 5 um, in the retail market is just absolutely crazy considering how um, much of a risk Hardline was. Hardline was one of the riskiest Battlefields to ever come out because it was um, so different than every other game in the series. What's even crazier is that for Hardline's poor performance, um, EA actually basically disbanded Visceral Studios. So they were going to have them work on a Star Wars game instead of another Hardline game and they ended up just after a few months just disbanding Visceral Studios and I think late 2016 or 2017. And now we see that DICE has sort of the same fate, and EA were the ones that were sort of leading DICE in this direction in some senses. Now obviously all the blame isn't to go on to EA, because DICE definitely messed up with their community and did not create the best game either, um, but I feel like EA definitely pushed them into this direction. Um, while DICE may have easily went along with it, I think the blame is on both parties. Now I just sort of wanted to go back and play Hardline as well, I definitely love this game a lot. Um, I got some really cool K10 gameplay, I got some FMG9 gameplay, even got some nice Magnum kills. And I actually do have a future Hardline video coming up too, where I get the Gold Tech 9 and I actually get some nice sniper clips as well. And when we hit 10k subscribers, my montage actually has a ton of Hardline clips too, because over the summer I just grinded out Hardline clips because I had a ton of time to work on the montage and even though I was only at like 8,000 subscribers then. I was just sort of wanting to get it out of the way because previously whenever I um, did these kind of montages for like 5,000 subscribers or like 1,000 subscribers, I was always way behind. Like I'd have the montage come out like a month after the milestone and for this I wanted it to come out like right after. Um, so we're still waiting on that boys. If you could help out and subscribe down below for that, I'd really appreciate it. And tell me what you guys think about Battlefield Hardline outselling Battlefield 5. And the fact that Battlefield 3, in addition to that, really outsold Battlefield 5. However, Battlefield 3 is one that I'm going to take um, with more of a grain of salt because um, back in that day, um, 2011, when Battlefield 3 came out, a lot more retail sales were happening than digital sales. So that is likely the reason why it is so much higher. But the fact that Battlefield 1 uh, doubled the retail sales is crazy as well. Um, I hope that Firestorm can help Battlefield 5 a little bit. Um, the which is the battle royale mode. I'm really excited to test that out. Hopefully they have a beta come out for it in February um, But boys just stay tuned for all the information in the battlefield franchise Not as much as in the past, but I'm still trying to sort of keep up to date with the franchise as much as I can Tell me what battlefield games you guys want to see me play on the channel uh, But that's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. and I'll see you guys next time